Like we are laughing right now, but the day that we need to give birth, and the day that I had to give birth, child, Eve, why did you do this to us, Eve? Why did you eat the fruit? Was it good? Was it good? Was it, was it all worth it? Did you enjoy the fruit, Eve? Hey everybody, it's your girl Lena I am and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I go by the name Lena I am. If you're back, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting your girl. Today I'm going to speak about my pregnancy journey. Yes. So I try to figure out where to start. Meanwhile, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Grab something to eat, take a seat, and enjoy this journey with me. So if I wasn't fasting right now, I would, I would be eating something with you guys because it's like a chit chat moment, sitting down with Lena I am moment. But yeah, by the time that I post this, um, we're already done with fasting. I think I'm, I'm about to make a video about that also. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But yeah, we with the church, we are fasting for a whole month and um, it is not easy because I didn't fast for a while because you know, pregnancy and everything but um yeah to god be the glory because the outcome is always great even if i don't see today tomorrow or the day after it i will definitely reap whatever i'm sowing so with that being said first things first the pregnancy symptoms so i went to my friend's place uh my friend's place isabella so she i asked her to do my hair i don't know when i was there I just felt like I wasn't hydrated at all. I was just so thirsty. I just needed to drink something to still my thirst. She gave me a glass of water. And I don't know, it didn't matter how many glasses of water I was drinking. It still wasn't like, I just didn't feel hydrated. So, um, so yeah, I would just keep asking her water, keep asking her water until the point she was like, you know what, go just leave, just keep the, like the whole bottle because I don't know what's going on, but you are like thirsty, thirsty, just keep the bottle. I don't have no problem. So we was just continuing doing a thing. I didn't really think anything of, uh, of it. So afterwards, when I was done doing my hair, I had to go back home, but I had to take the public, uh, the public transportation and um, my husband also was there so we were we were about to go outside it was like late you know when you do braids and everything it always takes like forever especially when you start late later day i think she had to come from work or something so we had to run because i did not want to miss the last bus because if that happened it would be a whole disaster we had to take the cab and i didn't feel like paying no money for that because she need to save those coins so yeah i was running and while i was running for the bus I just felt out of breath it was just like it wasn't even that far at all <laughs> it wasn't even that far but I was running I was out of breath I felt like I was dying my heart was like pounding it was like going like and while I was running I don't know why but my mouth like it may it might be like too much information like TMI but I don't know why but my mouth it just like felt like I had a lot of saliva in my mouth <laughs> so I was running and I just had to spit like for a second I continue running and jump into the bus and we made it so that was the thing just came back home at night went to sleep and the thing the thing that I felt so weird was like I, I woke up because again I had so much saliva in my mouth I woke up and I'm like, oh, like I'm not drooling it's like since when and my mouth was closed because I sleep I sleep with my mouth closed okay so my mouth was closed but I still had like some drooling going on and I was like I don't know what it is and so I had to flip my pillow I flipped my pillow and went back to sleep but then I think I will close my door because the neighbors 
I'm back, y'all. I'm back. So I had to flip up. I had to flip my pillow and I went back to sleep. But I woke up again because again, once again, I had a lot of like saliva going on. I was like, what's going on? I went to the bathroom. I took some tissue to put on between me and my pillow because I didn't want my pillow to be all wet because but I was also way too sleepy to think anything further I was like I will deal with it in the morning so the next morning when I woke up I was like what just happened yesterday and mind you I was my husband and I we were already trying to conceive a child so we were trying for I think two or three months and a lot of times I thought like I felt that I was pregnant but I wasn't um, you know when you feel like you're pregnant or you feel like something's going on and because you're thinking about it that much I'm really um, focusing on it like it's almost like your body starts believing in it also so you start feeling the symptoms I don't I don't know how to explain but if you've been trying you know so because of the fact that I already had a few um, tests that was negative, I was like, you know what, I won't even pay attention of it. So it, it been like a good two, three weeks that I wasn't really thinking about it, wasn't focusing on it, wasn't doing no research, nothing. So at the moment, at the moment when I um, was thinking about it, I was like, can I be pregnant? I was like, you know what, let me just do a test because I already had one in the house, but I felt like I cannot be pregnant, but let me just try it and see because I have the test in here. Anyways, so let me just try to see if I'm pregnant or not. So I took the pregnancy test uh, and I just put it somewhere in the bathroom. I was on my phone. I was just, I don't, I don't know, scrolling through Instagram or something because for me, then again, once again, I was like, I don't think I'm pregnant. And I was like, oh, I, oh my God, I almost forgot that I just did the test. So I grabbed the test. To my surprise, I saw like a faint, like a fainted, faint, faint, and like a faint line. I was like, do I see a line over here? And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. No, no, I'm not, no. So I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. No, it cannot be true. Like this cannot be true. So, and then I realized, no, I, I cannot really see, I, I cannot really say I realized because the whole time, even though it said pregnant i still couldn't believe what was going on because it was the first time that i got pregnant so it, the whole experience was just like it was just so surreal and then it hit me like oh my god i need to tell my husband but my husband was at work and i knew that my my little sister was home and my sister and i don't really live far apart like with the cars like two minutes uh, walking like 50 minutes something so I was like oh my god let me tell my sister that I'm pregnant you know she was the first person that I told I was first, uh, that I was pregnant my baby sister and I we are like very close we are very close so I I headed first to the store and I bought some candy and a card and it says like first come what is what is it like first come love then come marriage doc. let me read it Okay, so the card said, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes... What in the world? I just typed... <laughs> I was just like, the, no, no, because I just typed it out on Google just to make sure that I say it correctly. But I don't know if y'all can see it. It says something like, first come lo comes love, then comes marriage, then comes divorce. I was like, no, no, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, the blood. The blood of Jesus. That's not what it said. The blood. No, the blood. I just finished reading. I don't know if y'all No. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. No no what we're not about to do in this house is declare stuff like this no 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 internet no 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 dr google okay so it said first comes love then comes marriage then comes the baby in the baby carriage this was i had um on the card so um and we also just had moved to this place so it was just like a whole i would tell that testimony all the time about me 
and our the struggles of the begin the first year of our marriage and how God came through and the lesson that God tried to learn us because that's a whole other story. Like God, God always shows Himself faithful. Faithful. I always say like God is a faithful God and His timing is perfect. So I have a whole other testimony, but that's for a video for another time. But um, that's the thing that was on the card, and I will answer the clip. Do you? You is the devil. You is the devil. Look at my skin. You know I'm getting a clear skin. You know I was thinking about this candy. She is the devil. And this is Jesus. <laughs> this is Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm rich, oh. I need, I need to rip it carefully because I want to see a card. Card. Lick off with it. Read the card first. Oh. Jesus is Lord. Stop. She's crazy. That comes in cash. It's the baby cash. It's the baby cash. You're the first person who knows it. Oh my god. Did you see it? Stop filming me. I'm a dog. <laughs> you smelled it. Oh Lord Jesus. How does this work? Like the second line. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me dig this. And this one I just took right now at your toilet. <laughs> yeah, I just found out this morning. What is it? In two days? What did I told you? Yes, that's what I thought. So yeah. Oh my god! Am I shaking? Yes, I am shaking. I had to pack up something. That's why I was like, oh, she likes Winnegum. So your birthday present still gonna come. Out. <laughs> I smell your pee. <laughs> Get away from me. So yeah, that's basically how it went. For the people that know my baby sister, my little sister, she like it's as if she almost don't has no how they call it emotion. She doesn't cry at all. So to see her cry and like her voice cracking up, it was it was just something else. So then afterwards I had to um surprise my husband. And yeah, it was it was very beautiful. I didn't I didn't film that part because I really want to be in the moment. Because he was the one that really wanted to have a child. When this man laid his eyes on me, he was like, "She looks fruitful. She looks like she can be, give me some children." I was like, "No, sir, no. We're gonna wait at least until I'm 30." I know for some people it's late, for some people are like, yes, I really want to have a child on my 30s. Just put in the comments around what time you was planning to have a child. And for the people that already have a child, I'm like curious to know around what time you plan to have a child and around what time you had a child. But um, for me, I want to have a child around my 30 because I have a lot of things to do. So I felt like I want to accomplish certain things before I have my child but you know God had other plans and just how everything turns out just how life is going and the pandemic came I was like you know what everything is still and I started to, to have baby fever also I was like this is a beautiful moment to have a child back to where I was uh, I had to surprise my husband so I went to the store and I bought some chocolate like uh, I don't not sure how to say it, but it's like Raffaello and that's his favorite chocolate so I took everything out of the box I put um, I put a card on in it I put my stick in it and yes I know it's a stick that I peed on but that's my husband okay so yeah at that moment it doesn't even matter so you know God let me just for a second Whew. speaking for a while when you're fasting and being all hyped and pumped up it's just like and the whole thing is we are not eating uh we cannot eat like um chocolate and sugary things and junk food it's just like on it's almost like a daniel fast i think it is a daniel fast so my my sugar level is so low it is so low 
Oof. Yeah. So um, <laughs> the air is not easy out there on the streets. I don't even know what that came in my head. But I took everything out of the box. Um, put like the card in it, my stick in it. I had some clothes that I bought uh, prior because I, we were already trying to conceive. And a lot of times I thought I was pregnant. So I already bought some things because I knew like, okay, you know, one, uh, I can get pregnant at any time. So I also put some baby clothes and socks in it with I love daddy. So yeah, this is crazy. I just found out this morning. What is this crazy? I will tell I will tell the story later on if I ever gonna post this. I mean, I don't even know if I'm about to post this, but and if I'm posting this, just know the baby's already there. <laughs> and it's not gross, y'all. I didn't pee on like you know the pee is inside or whatever. <laughs> it's just you know, y'all will do the same thing. That's how I'm going to give it to him, basically. Now show people, show people your ring. Show, show them your ring. You know. So yeah, that's the thing that I put in it and it was very cute. It was a beautiful moment that I shared with my husband and he was he wanted to have a child that long and always speaking about it. He was so overwhelmed with emotions and he was so happy and he was crying and we were just hugging. It was it was very beautiful, beautiful moment. Yeah. Um and even though like the feeling of it all being so surreal it stayed for a few days like you know when you're just pregnant for two seconds it already started touching holding your belly like <laughs> try to see if you see something it was just crazy i cannot even explain how overwhelming the feeling was i was so filled with gratitude i was just so happy and and it took a few days before I really realized like, oh my God, my life is about to change forever. And oh my God, soon people are about to see it. Also, the first few days, it was funny because when you're just pregnant, it's just you that knows that you are pregnant. And I remember the first few days when I was uh, like in public transportation between people, just in a church, with family members, with friends. I'm like, oh my God, I have a secret. No. <laughs> I know something that you don't know it was the whole thing the disbelief was something else it was crazy even your instant reaction as like as a human be being also instantly everything changed now, whenever I was crossing the street I was like I was double checking because I was like no you're not by yourself no more you are carrying a whole life okay you are a responsible mother so yeah it, but it was like a whole mixture of being joyful with a little bit of anxiety because you don't know what's what to expect and i had so much things to complete first to make sure to make sure everything is ready before the baby comes and at the same time i, I, I just couldn't believe and the most beautiful thing was the lord was preparing me throughout the whole year he was always preparing me of the the pregnancy and the thing before i got pregnant i think three days or two days let me see you know the friend that I was speaking about uh, in the beginning of the video that she did my hair uh, I was speaking with her about conceiving a child and because my my best friend because I have two best friends since uh, high school we go way way back uh, since uh, I was 12 we were 12 and uh, my other friend she was pregnant of a twin so we were just laughing and uh, laughing around joking around like yeah tell us how did you get those twins like what did you do how was the party if you know you know <laughs> um gave us some t uh, tricks and uh, tips so we can get pregnant like help a sister out because we are married and it's legal like it's legal right now so we were just joking around and speaking about it and i remember let me see I, I guess you can see the date it was 18th of november yeah so the 18th of november we were speaking about it and and obviously we were praying about it also 
then i went on youtube and there's a girl that i follow uh she posts uh every i think wednesday and every wednesday she posts um she shares something about the word and so the day that we were speaking with my friend and i went to youtube she posted something else and let me show it, it says um for school it says the 18 You know when you are watching something, uh, a sermon, reading the word, and something when it's for you, you just feel like, you just feel in everything that you have, like this is a word from God for me. And it just felt like it was time. That was the 18th of November. And then like a few days later, even if you look at our, you know, you know, in, on WhatsApp, if you have it, it was, here's the video. And then I, had, I shared with her that I was pregnant. So um, it was when there was the 18th of November. There was the 18th of November, and the day and 30 November. There was the little line that I spoke about, but I already inserted in the clip. The 30th of the month, like a few days later, I found out I was pregnant. And just. I'm telling you, the way God let everything fall into place is just crazy. God is a responsible father and his timing is just perfect. I'm just like, I will forever say that. It will forever be my testimony. It felt so surreal to be pregnant until I had to go to my ultrasound. And oh my God, the ultrasound moments are just so precious. It was crazy. The only thing about the whole pandemic and the whole situation is you, you was not allowed allowed to bring a second person to the appointment. So I went to a private uh, gynecologist because I was like, no, I don't know. This is my first child, and even if I have to pay a little bit more, I will pay a little bit more so that we both can have this experience. Uh, this experience. So I went to a private one so that I could share the moment with my husband and it was just so beautiful and because the first time when i got pregnant the first moment when i was pregnant i didn't know what to do i didn't have a clue and because i didn't want to tell anybody yet like that so i literally went to dr google and don't do that because a lot of times google there's a whole other story but i just but i google like what to do and you just found out you was pregnant and i ended up going to my uh, doctor and she took uh, um, some blood stamps to see if i was pregnant um and then a few days i think a few days later or something she called me and said congratulations you're pregnant congratulations you're pregnant 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 Thank you.